We are hurt. I am hurt. I don't want to see the club there. So I want to see the, play, the team play together. And then let's judge the team when they play together. On your watch, William, was that just a mistake that didn't work out? If, if, you, if you start to see the decision on William... Welcome to the Blunt Panel where I speak my mind and you can see us. It's the video every Arsenal fan has been waiting for. Edu's exclusive interview with Sky Sports. Here are the four key highlights in that interview. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. <whistles> William's contract is one of the reasons why a lot of Arsenal fans have been dumb, mute, flabbergasted, confused. Every single Arsenal fan is wondering why on earth was William signed in the first place. Here we see Edu breaking down the reasoning behind why he signed him and the reasoning why they sacked him as well. Have a look at these people. That's a 100% record in transfers. You, get, you try and get the majority right, some wrong. On your watch, William, was that just a mistake that didn't work out? If, if, you, if you start to see the decision on William um, was... To sign someone which experience, which a lot of Premier League games, and to impact the team straight away. If you see the first game against Fulham, which we play away, mm -hmm. and Remember. we started very well, and everybody say, "Wow!" So now we have a a proper team, and we from this game we go through. But for the circumstances, a lot of different these circumstances, um, the season from the squad and for the William as well, was really inconsistent for everyone, to be fair. For if you see every single player, we was inconsistent, which now we wants to be more consistent. And then in the end of the season, I came to, do, to William, me and Miko say, how are you? Because I want you, I need you much more consistent. What's happening? You know? And then he mentioned to us, um, is not 100% comfortable. And when I listen to that, and when Miko listen to that, we make the decision to say, okay, we don't want a player here which is not 100% comfortable, is not 100% with the team. If not now, it's my business to try to find the best solution. Do you guys agree with Edu's statement about those reasonings? Listen, it makes some valid points. However, people want results that's what football is based on results i get that and i understand the frustration i'm frustrated as well because i'm an arsenal fan obviously but listen do you guys agree with those reasonings that edu has put on the table moving forward as well he was quizzed about the transfer policies and the players that were signed because a lot of arsenal fans have been left underwhelmed do you guys agree with what edu has said have a look at this people Edu, it's been a very active transfer window for Arsenal. So what can you tell me about it and the thinking behind it? Because the truth is, you may have spent the most money on players in the window out of any Premier League club, but the Arsenal fans are underwhelmed. Yes, I understand the reason. Because first, they didn't see the team yet playing together, isn't it? So that's the one of... The reason as well, but I think you have to see the context a little bit bigger than just to see the the money uh, around it. So um, we signed six players. Uh, six of the six players was under under 23 players, which for us uh, means a lot in terms of our planning. So because normally people like to see just one window, so I have to see a little bit bigger picture because if you take like a year ago. So we start planning the squad a year ago in terms of, you know, to consolidate the team, to try to get better foundation. So if you remember, um, in that period of the years, so we renew Bukasaka, we renew Martinelli a year ago with the intention already to get that, that kind of the, the, the basement in the team. Just thought I'm going to mention, right, before we go on. Arsenal right now have the youngest squad 
on average in the Premier League. I thought I'd put that in there. Let's continue watching. So in one year period, we signed 10 players, okay? And seven of 10 is under 23. We renew seven players in this period as well, just for teams, seven players. Why we did that? Because we have a reason to try again to create a good foundation. And then, then one day, maybe we're going to sign one or two players only. But after that, it's impossible to sign one or two players only because we have a lot to do. We have to balance the squad better. We have to um, recruit the players with the right characteristics, recruit the players with the right uh, profile to make the squad better, solid, and much more consistent because you suffer a lot of the, the last season in the consistent moment during the, the season, which now I want to give to Mikkel and to the board uh, a much better squad. Listen, people, Gary Neville and Paul Mason, amongst a lot of pundits, have gone in and tore into the transfer policy of Arsenal, believing that it's quite shambolic. Here is what Gary Neville had to say to set the precedence for you guys. Paul Merson was making the point yesterday, Gary, that you no longer hear that Arsenal have beaten another club to the signing of a player. It seems like there's no one else in for these players. And the reality is they're not attracting the world's biggest names at the moment, are they? No, but they're spending a load of money. <laughs> um, I have to say, I'm not quite sure what the strategy is of Arsenal in respect to the transfer market. It just does seem a little bit all over the place. Um, maybe there's a strategy, but it's not explained very well. It's not clear. Uh, Listen people, at the end of the day, everyone has got opinions. That's what football is about. In fact, life is all about opinions. And of course, football is about results in addition to the opinions as well. And you're going to be judged based on results. Because at the end of the day, your results is always going to determine how opinions are shaped. It is what it is, people. The last but not the least, people, Edu has gone on to defend the criticism of his lack of experience in Europe. And he actually answered the questions quite well in my opinion anyways do you know Mikel is under immense pressure yeah. right now also your own yeah. job comes under yeah. uh, criticism it comes in line as well yeah. the criticism of you is that you haven't done this job in Europe before uh, and you don't know the European market what do you say to that criticism and also what and when would you be able to say is uh, when will it be where you can be judged for what you've done, what your policy at the club? I respect all the pressure. I became from Corinthians and from Brazil international team, which is unbelievable press pressure as here. And I understand the fans, I understand the reason and accept that. But we need a little bit of time to do what you plan to do. Uh, I'm not saying because I know this kind of word hurts a lot Arsenal's fans when you're talking about signing patient, but it's the reality. So that's why when I say to you, we have to create a good foundation. To create a good foundation, you need a time. Because but you know you don't get time in football. I know, I know, I know, but that's why you make some kind of the decisions. Sometimes you have to make some decisions, not to look in the future. We believe in our squad now, but we believe this squad can be even stronger in the future, not in the short period. I have to think about my job, is to thinking about short periods, but in the long period as well. How are we going to plan that kind of journey? Because if we now sign one or two players and we have a three, four, five gaps to fill, and then people are going to look to us and say, as well, guys, what are you doing? Because you spend a lot of money here and here. What about the other position for the future? So the balancing is not easy to get. But we, again, we believe what we're doing. Talking about my role, I understand the pressure. I understand the pressure of my Mikel board and the club because the situation which we are now is not acceptable. But listen, now is the moment to everybody being together. And I would like to see in this difficult moment, people step forward and get the responsibility. I am responsible for what we're doing. 
that's it from me today guys listen people i want to hear your opinions your comments about everything i've said today talking about williams contract how this guy has defended the transfer policy how he's defended his post as a director of football in arsenal every single thing we've discussed today i want to hear your opinions please and please and please make sure you like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon as well it's up one at the blend button lovers will be lovers haters will be haters yes people Mwah. hello guys I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. And one more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please. And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. <laughs>